Transport authorities file a plunder complaint against top Aquino administration officials. Let's bring in our Rex Remito. He's monitoring the story for us. He's live from the MRT Ortega station. Rex, what was the reason for filing the plunder complaint against these officials? They say the commuters who are suffering because of MRT's daily glitches are their motivation behind the complaint. A grand conspiracy to steal billions in pesos of taxpayers' money at the expense of MRT commuters. This is how transportation officials describe what the high-ranking officials of the Aquino administration did. The DOTR filed the complaint before the ombudsman against nine ex-cabinet secretaries. And the main culprits for them are former Transportation Secretary Jun Abaya and his predecessor, Mar Rojas. Both are stalwarts of Aquino's Liberal Party. The other cabinet officials are accused of tolerating the acts of Abaya and Rojas. Also included in the complaint are 10 other former transportation officials. 10 officials of the Busan Universal Rail, the SAC maintenance provider of the MRT3, and Marlo de la Cruz, who is said to be connected to the LP and with both former maintenance providers, PH Trams and Global APT. In the complaint, the DOTR says Abaya and Rojas used the MRT3 project to acquire ill-gotten wealth. The complaint claims Abaya terminated former MRT maintenance contractor Sumitomo despite its good record and replaced it with a dummy corporation, PH Trams Joint Venture. Abaya entered into a 500 million peso contract with PH Trams without public bidding. PH Trams is apparently not registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission as well. When the anomaly was exposed, Abaya and his officials abruptly replaced PH Trams with Global APT. Again, with no public bidding for an almost 700 million peso contract. The DOTR says this caused the consecutive broken rail failures of the MRT. These deliberate mistakes culminated in the contract with Busan Universal Rail, although the company is not technically, legally, and financially capable to operate the project. Abaya and his team failed to submit the required documents for the payments under the law. That's why for the DOTR, these respondents must be charged with plunder. Pia. Rex Ramita reporting live.